If you want to be precise with your layouts, then you can use ruler. So over here, the ruler is turned on by default, as you can see. But if you want to turn it off, you go to view. And then over here, you can see that show ruler is checked on. So I can just disable that out and the ruler will disappear. So let us go to view and show the ruler right here and see what the ruler is and how we can control with it. So you can see that the section starts from right over here. And this is the starting point. I can click and drag this right here, as you can see, and I can push it onto the tab. So now what ha what is happening is that uh, as I selected the paragraph right here, you can see that as I push this forward, it pushes the paragraph forward right here. I can push this backward as well. And this is the tab indentation for the beginning of the paragraph right here. So I can just bring it up over here to arrange that out. If I were to select nothing right here, let me just go into editing mode for this one. If I were to click and drag everything, you can see that the paragraph goes just like that, as you can see. So whichever, whichever paragraph is the one I'm selecting, it just pushes that forward right over there. I can select multiple paragraphs and then push that out as well, just like that as well, just like that. I can do the same from over here on the side right here. And then now what I can do is I can simply select this and drag this out over here and you can see that it pushes out the sentences just like that. On the left side, you can see that there's the margin over here on the top so you can pull it up or down right over here as well. And you can go down do the same over here as well. So this is how you can work around with the tabs right here. But especially when you have multiple columns, you have even more control. So I can go over here on to, let's say, for example, uh, I'm just going to go around and then turn this into a column. So I'm just going to go to format right here, column, and then three column, let's say, for example. And what happens is that now you got three sections, as you can see. So I can move this backward right here. There's a ruler right here. I can just squeeze it out or pull it out right here arrange the spacing right over here, just like that. And you can arrange out the spacing in between paragraphs, just like this, arrange out the margin. And you can have different layouts, as you can see right here. Another way to control out the ruler settings even more is when working with tables. So let me just go to insert table and then select a bunch of tables right here. And you can see that there's a ruler option right here, which allows you to move out the divisions right here. So you can work around with the rulers right here on the left, as you can see. And as you move this, it reflects this onto the ruler and you can move this up, you can move this down right here. And that is how it works. And that is how you can work around with the ruler right over there, just like that. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.